Rocket 809, and if you thought skinny jeans just couldn't get any skinnier, take a look at American Eagle Outfitters' new marketing campaign, and you be the judge. People say you spend so much time working, but if it's your passion, it isn't really work. I love the feeling you get when you make something all on your own. I love coming up with something new. Making it up as I go along. I don't want to be put in a box. I like skinny jeans. Sometimes they're not skinny enough. I love really skinny jeans. It's like they were made just for me. Live your life. American Eagle Outfitters. AE Skinny Skinny. Available for a limited time only at AE.com. All right, now you've seen it, so what about it, real or not? Bob Holovinko is the vice president of brand marketing for American Eagle Outfitters, and he's brought along a few models. We will get to them in a moment. And Peter Shankman is a marketing consultant. Guys, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Bob, thank you for addressing the, the crisis of whether skinny jeans are skinny enough. I mean, it's, it was crying out for a yes. solution. We were happy to help and be there from American Eagle Outfitters. Okay, so it's obviously, it's pretty obvious that it's spray paint, but I guess the question is, are you trying to sell spray paint and saying, folks, you should spray paint yourselves with jeans. Is this pure marketing ploy? Sure. Uh, you know, we were just wanted to have fun and have fun with our fans. And it was a good opportunity to kind of push it from a brand standpoint. And the response has been incredible. Well, you have. I think you've got 200,000 clicks you in the sense of people, so they, they watch the video and then they try to purchase them. And if you try to do that, two spray cans come up. So I'll ask you again, since you didn't quite answer my question. Are you selling those spray cans and trying to say, yeah, you should paint yourself and that's our new gene? Yes, uh, we are not selling it, so just to be clear. Uh, but there will be an offer that the customer will receive uh, throughout the campaign when we capture their email at the very end. All right, well, let's bring the spray, the spray paint cans in just so we can hold them in our hot little hands. Thank you, Gerard. Now I'm ready for the weekend. Um, Absolutely. Peter, what do you think about this? Is this brilliant or do you think it goes too far? Because let's be honest, it's a little revealing. No, this is brilliant. As a, mar as a marketing professional, I'm, I, I teach my clients two things. Whatever you do in marketing has to have a payoff and it has to generate revenue. The payoff, obviously, we've seen by the amount of, of, of views it's gotten on YouTube and the amount of uh, virality that this video has gotten. And the payoff in terms of revenue is are people going to the site and are people buying other things? That, look, we're not, we don't assume that we can't, that we could just spray on jeans. We know that it's fake. Yeah. But to still go to the site, you know, when was the, let's, let's be honest, when was the last time you heard about a good American Eagle ad? I don't remember. It was a while ago. So this is phenomenal. Great way to bust out from the, from the mainstream. People are talking about it. Yeah. And, and you have kind of hinted there's more to come, <laughs> that yeah. there might be another something along these lines? Yeah, we think of it as a journey. So this is the first installment. So next week, there'll actually be a secondary release as a follow-up. So for all of our customers that have kind of come along with us, there's going to be a really great reveal at the very end. Did you have any reservations when you set out on this campaign? Because when you get the close-up shot, I mean... Sure. It's a cheeky campaign. Yeah. Shall we put it that way? I think cheeky is a great way to put it. And, um, you know, we knew we were putting ourselves out there, and I think that was the goal. But even through the edit and through the filtering process, we had to be cautious of, like, what we were showing. But we think we landed in a good spot. All right, well, in. Nick and Jillian are here. How long did it take you guys to get ready this morning? Um, well, it takes about two and a half, almost yeah. three hours to go through the entire process. <laughs> right. And so, I mean, if you, like, wait tables or if you're in your field all the time, that might be cool. But you're not moving, so you're just standing yeah. straight. Okay. Is, yeah. is it itchy or anything? No. It feels um, like they're not even there. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just ask you? I mean, you're wearing underwear, right? Yes. I think everybody at home yes. is yes. wondering. Yes. yes. Okay. There underwear. is underwear. All right. Well, so do you think this is a brilliant campaign? I do. And look, listen, we see more than that on TV on a regular basis. Yeah. I don't think it's not safe for work. It's, it's fine. And it's funny. And, you know, it gets people talking. And I guarantee you, whether whether we know it or not, there's going to be a run in American Eagle stores <laughs> to, hey, can I buy spray paint? Not, there are going to be people who don't realize that it's not real. I'm putting great. this on eBay right totally. after this segment. Exactly. We had the same idea. Yeah. Okay, Bob and Peter, thank you so much. And Nick and Jillian, I, I guess have a great weekend. <laughs> thank you.